Piatnitsky Saurus. Piatnitsky Saurus, slash Bytnitsky SRS slash Ptnitsky Saurus meaning Piatnitsky's lizard, is a genus of megalosauroid theropod dinosaur that lived approximately 166 to 164 million years ago during the middle part of the Jurassic period in what is now Argentina. Piatnitsky Saurus was a moderately large, lightly built, bipedal, ground-dwelling carnivore that could grow up to 6.6 meters, 21.7 feet, long. Discovery and Naming The type species, Piatnitsky saurus florisi, was described by Jose Bonaparte in 1979. It was named to honor Alejandro Matveyevich Piatnitsky, 1879-1959, a Russian-born Argentine geologist. The holotype specimen of Piatnitsky saurus, PVL 4073, was collected during expeditions in 1977, 1982, and 1983 at the Canadonis Falto formation in sediments that were deposited during the Colovian stage of the Jurassic period, approximately 166 to 164 million years ago. Once thought to be a basal carnosaur, it was later classified as a megalosauroid. Description In total, two partial skeletons are known a fractured skull and parts of two postcranial skeletons, among which paratype McN CH 895, and is the most completely known theropod from the middle late Jurassic period of the southern hemisphere. Pietnitskisaurus was a relatively lightly built medium-sized bipedal carnivore that was around 4.3 meters, 14 feet, long and around 450 kilograms, 990 pounds, in mass, though such estimates apply to the holotype, which is a subadult. It had robust arms and powerful hind legs with four toes on each foot. Its ischium is 423 mm in, long. Its brain case resembles that of another megalosauroid, the megalosaurid Pivotosaurus from France. A general resemblance to the theropod Allosaurus was noted by Benton, 1992, however there are key differences between the two. The scapular blade of Piatnitskisaurus is shorter and wider than more derived tenorins. The humerus represents 50% of the length of the femur, which is also a primitive condition present among basal theropods. The relative lengths of the ulna in respect to the humerus and femur are also similar to those of basal theropods, which means the forelimbs of Piatnitskisaurus are proportionally longer than in Allosaurus. Also primitive is the wide contact between the pubis and ischium, a condition that is much different than that of Allosaurus and more derived tetanurans, in which contact is reduced. The pubis of Piatnitskisaurus also has a distal foot that is more modestly developed than in Allosaurus. Due to the strong resemblance to Piatnitskisaurus, it has been suggested that the sister Taxicondor raptor could be better interpreted as the result of individual variation within the species, and not as separate taxa. The main noted differences between the two dinosaurs include both a less well-developed enomial crest and a first sacral vertebra with a shallower fossa in Condor raptor. Brain gaze. The brain case of Piatnitskisaurus has been reviewed in detail by Oliver Rauhud. The review constitutes one of the few detailed accounts of brain case morphology in basal theropods. Piatnitskisaurus is the only member of Piatnitskisauridae with cranial material preserved, for which two maxillae, a frontal, a brain case, and a partial dentary are known. Piatnitskisaurus is among the most basal members of the tetanurans and is important for understanding not only Middle Jurassic theropod evolution in the Southern Hemisphere but also for knowledge of character evolution at the base of Tetanuri. The brain case of the holotype of Piatnitskisaurus florisi, PVL 4073, is rather well preserved and shows no signs of deformation. The sutures between the individual bones of the skull are only partially visible, which indicates that the holotype represents a subadult individual. This is also consistent with the state of ossification in the postcranial skeleton. An unusual feature of the brain case is the parasphenoid recess, which has only been described in two other non-avian theropods, Synovenator and Synornithosaurus. Given the distant phylogenetic position of the basal tetanurin Piatnitskisaurus and the advanced Maniraptoran and Dionicosaurian taxa Synovenator and Synornithosaurus, the presence of this recess represents a convergence and can be considered an autopomorphy of the former genus. Another noteworthy aspect of the brain case is the prominent hook-like basis phenoidal wing, a feature that is also found in other theropods such as Cerdosaurus, Allosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus. Classification the most basal clade within Megalosauroidea contains Condor Raptor, Martiosaurus, Piatnitskisaurus, and Kshwadhanosaurus. The next most basal clade comprises Chwandongosilurus and Monolophosaurus. However, the affiliation of these clades with Megalosauroidea is poorly supported by tree support metrics, and it is possible that they will be classified outside of Megalosauroidea by future analyses.